No, but if anybody's gonna get this plane moving, it's Terry Hollins. He's huge. Look at the size of that plane. Look at the size of his quads. He's got those feet moving and his arms pulling. This is a great pull. This is unbelievable, Kaz. That's 44 tons that Terry Hollins of England is pulling. He's taking big steps and armfuls of that rope. Remember, it's 25 meters, and Terry Hollins is going to put up the mark to beat, and I guarantee the other nine men are watching this in disbelief. Looks like it's getting a little bit harder. He's dropped his body. He's pulling even harder at the end of the course than he did in the beginning. The wheel has to stop the clock, and it does at 38.69. So the big man from England puts up a tremendous Terry mark Hollins to beat. England. And fortunes may be turning for Terry Hollins, but it might be too late. Once you get good momentum, you've got to keep your legs pumping and your arms pulling to get it over the finish line. And that's just what Terry did. Well, the second man up in the plane pole is Phil and Fister, the hometown West favorite Virginia, from Charleston. Phil now, Phil Fister. arrives at the plane pole 12 points behind the current leader, Derek Poundstone. There's thousands of fans out here, and Phil won't want to let them down. Unfortunately for them, these big pulls are tailor-made for Phil. Well, the mark to beat, 38.69 seconds. That's 88,000 pounds, 44 tons that Phil Fister has got moving. And Kaz, he's got it moving. Great leg drive, Todd. Really pull it hard with the arms. How about the speed with the rope? He's doing very well. It's the speed of the plane that he's worried about. He's got to gain momentum because this course gets harder towards the end. A just very slight incline at the end. That's what Fister is facing right now, but he's got 44 tons going towards the finish line. And he's got it. Much to the delight of the hometown crowd, Phil Fister is your new leader at 37.66. And Phil Fister could certainly use the points that come with a first place win. The plane pole will continue with the top three men in the overall standings. This is the Metrics World's Strongest Man Final. Dave Oslin came into the overhead lift as the overall leader, but he labored with a 309-pound log, managing only four reps. Phil Fister didn't fare much better. He was only able to press the log overhead a total of six times. In the qualifiers, American Travis Ortmeyer was awesome in the pressing event, but he only got seven here. Marius Pujanowski, the four-time champion, put up 10 huge reps, but that wasn't enough to get the win. And that's because American Derek Poundstone, who entered the overhead lift in second place, was able to produce 11 repetitions. So Poundstone was victorious in the overhead lift. Second place went to Pujanowski. Venta was third. Bergman, Mitt, and Ortmeier tied for fourth. Seventh place probably doomed Phil Fister's title chances, and Dave Oslo took a major hit as he finished ninth. We have a new overall leader as Poundstone takes over the lead with 43 and a half points. Pujanovski is second with 40 and a half points. Oslin drops to third, seven off the lead. Fister is still fourth, but is losing sight of the leaders. Venta, Bergman, and Mitt have started to rally, but it's probably too little, too late. And Pujanovski. Well, he's got about 25 meters to cover this course. That's 88,000 pounds, or 44 tons, if you will. It's still just a massive object. Nice leg speed. That rope's kind of slapping. I don't know how hard he's pulling on it. 37.66, put it by fellow countryman Phil Fisher, but right now it's all about Dave Austin trying to get points. And here's where that bit of incline comes in. He cannot let this thing stop, Kaz. He's slowing down. His legs are slower. He's got to dig down, dive towards the surface, and pull harder on the rope. Just keep it moving. No one's ever questioned Dave Austin's commitment. He has now gone over 40 seconds. That front tire has got to cross the line before the clock stops. And he stops the clock at 49.09 seconds. Not the time he was looking for. That puts him currently into fifth place. Todd, that's what a guy looks like who's given everything he's got, pouring his guts out in this plane pool. You can see Dave had real trouble getting the plane up to speed. 
But the real difficulty came in the last 8 to 10 meters when the plane's momentum came to Ladies a crawl. Ladies and gentlemen, four-time Metrics World's Strongest Man. Poland's Marius Pujanowski has won four Poland, titles since 2002, Marius but it Pujanowski. looks like title number five won't come so easily. Marius is in second place, three points behind American Derek Poundstone. The title at 6'1 and 309 pounds. Marius doesn't Ready. have the ideal body mass for these big pulls, but he compensates by outworking the other guys. Look at the massive arms on Marius Pujanowski. This is 44 tons. He's got to cover the 25-meter course. There you see the time to beat put up by Phil Fister at 37.66. Todd, this is easily the fastest we've seen this plane move. Look at his hand speed. He's driving so hard with his legs, and the grimace on his face tells you that he's working as hard as he possibly can. A slight stumble there, but Marius is just gritting his way through this course and grunting all the way through, too. And he has done it. By the narrowest of margins, so Marius Pujanowski has edged Phil Fister. Seven. 36.67 seconds for the current leader, Marius Pujanowski. You want to know what intensity sounds like? Listen to Marius Pujanowski. With all these huge guys out here, Marius has no business being the leader in the plane pool. It's his desire that separates him from everyone else. In the red, representing the United States of America, Derek Poundstone. The final athlete in the plane pool is the overall leader, Derek Poundstone of Connecticut. Kaz, at what point does Derek realize he's in great position to win the title and have the nerves set in? Todd Derek's a police officer. If he can handle that job, He'll be able to block out everything and just focus on this serious task. Serious to the tune of 44 tons. He has to go 25 meters, and he needs to do it faster than Marius Pujanowski's 36.67 seconds. Todd, look at those guns. He's tugging so hard. Look at his leg drive. This is a nice pull. That's 88,000 pounds that Derek Poundstone's got moving. He's dropping his body position. He's putting as much drive into it as he can. But he's losing his balance a little bit. Strong legs right here. He will not get the victory. 38.67 seconds as everyone looks on and looks at their clocks and Marius knows he's got the victory in the plane pole. Third place to Derek official, Poundstone. Official time, and this sets up a very interesting last event. Marius Pujanowski needed a victory and he got it here in the plane pole. Fister is in second. Finishing third means Derek Poundstone dropped two points to Marius. Terry Hollins picked up fourth. Dave Oslin had to settle for seventh. And Travis Ortmeier was a disappointing eighth. Derek Poundstone will take a lead to the final event. He's got a one-point advantage over Marius Pujanowski. One of those two men will be the 2008 Metrics World's Strongest Man Champion. Oslin and Fister will battle it out for third. But it's all about pride for the rest of the guys. <laughs>